This video is sponsored by Arena Breakout. More on that later. The Chaos Mage Challenge. I like Skyrim, clearly. Have I ever told you all I hate this game? I think that much is obvious if you've ever seen the channel. It's got a little bit for everyone. Intense puzzle solving mechanics, best in class waifu simulation, a wholesome community of dear God, what have you all done to the Nexus homepage? Outside of these stellar offerings, Skyrim presents a really great canvas for varied player slash enemy interaction. That is of course, should you willingly avoid falling into the walk forward and left click until enemy dead play style that so many accidentally fall victim to. Like whoopsie, you've trivialized the game now, reload load a previous save, make the game more interesting on your own, or persist in the doomed world you've crafted for yourself. I like when games force you to think outside the box, but I also like when they don't, but I also like when you can force yourself into thinking outside the box. I have a weird theory that no matter how simple your level design in a game, if you provide the player with an excess of strange tools to work through those levels, they'll find interesting ways of solving problems that you may have never intended. Today's challenge is meant to test that theory of mine. Here are the rules. Skyrim has 198 clearable locations. Not all technically dungeons, but we'll call them that to simplify things. Vanilla Skyrim has around 98 spells. With DLC and anniversary stuff, it's got some more, but if we stuff the Apocalypse mod in there, we've got 318 to play with. We'll start by randomly selecting one of these 198 dungeons. Then we pick a school of magic, then we pick three spells that we are forced to use in order to mark the location cleared on the map in-game. By limiting the spells I can use, I'll be forced to adapt to a wide range of situations and hopefully find some new strategies, also known as thinking outside the box. I can still punch things if needed. Not all spells were created equal after all, and I gotta make do with what I can. I'm also starting with buffed magicka so as to give myself leeway on some of the more pricey spells. There's a few other rules, but we'll touch on those as they become relevant. How many dungeons can we clear? Spells can we master? New strategies can we discover within the time limit of 15 hours? What do we get? Come on, give me something easy. Let's just start. No. Is this one gonna kick my ass? So here's the thing. There was a lot of spinning this wheel throughout the challenge. I didn't know what most of the spells were upon getting the name to pop up, which were bad, which were good. So for most of these, we'll just summarize like this. Astronach Mark is 64. Marks a target for 10 seconds. The mark detonates when struck by a summon to reanimate a minion. Dealing magic damage equal to 15%. That could be good. Wrathman we can afford. Oh, Conjuration. The least exciting school for this challenge because even with just a brief scroll of all the Conjuration spells in the game, you'll start to notice a pattern with them. That's not to say there aren't any utility spells we can get creative with, it's just that it's a bit less common. But in taking and accepting the bad, we also get to take the good. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right, we might get through this first dungeon, all right. Okay, ra relax, Wrathman, you don't get to, no, you don't get to go to the store, okay? You're not the guy, I'm the guy. Careful with that. Don't tell me how to manage my salmon. Skyrim NPCs are always so worried about how I handle my meat. Should I try, ooh, should I try and kill the guards here? How powerful is the Wrathman? I think I'm gonna test it. We might as well take advantage. If we have a powerful spell, let's use it. All right, here's the play. We go storm core. No, 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 no. Wrong order. Ah, fuck. No, 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 no. Wrathman, go. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Oh, man. If I blew it there. Come on, Wrathman. He's insane. He's insane. Wrathman. I love you. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you going after him now? Come on, don't. Leave him be. Although if I'm technically in combat, let's steal some XP. That's it. That's all you've got. You gonna take that? <laughs> Wrathman, you're a monster. Yeah, you're gonna have to get through him if you want to get to me. I love you, Wrathman. I think it's up here. This is not a very easy dungeon, though. This could get tough. Oh God, already? Oh my god! We're getting so much Conjuration XP. Oh, uh, no way! Yeah! <laughs> Got my first kill. Ooh. 
Breathman, save me. Ooh, there's a lot of them in here. Oh, okay. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, he's running. Wait, does Atronach Mark make them? <laughs> yeah, uh, he's gonna walk into a trap. I wanna feel like I'm in, oh, come on, guys. I wanna feel like I'm in involved. Okay, here we go, final room. Definitely gonna be an enemy out of there. There's a ton of other Draugr he calls in. It's a pretty epic fight for the most part. I will return my ancestors to Sovngarde, and you with them. Sovngarde is a myth, you s And now you can join your ancestors in service to me. Okay, fight starts. I just have to make sure that I don't get flanked. There you go. Restless Draugr down. I'm gonna miss Wrathman when we have to get rid of him. Now they fall. Let's fall back again. No. What just hit me? I think it was a shout that hit me. I'm running low on magic, though. You got it, Wrathman. One more. boy. No. Get away from me. Oh my god, he's actually just targeting me! Why? Corner him. Come on, Rath Rathman, he's right there! Go, buddy, go! <laughs> go! Get his ass! Rathman, be a little bit more productive. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. He's down? Oh, I'm not sure what Rathman's hesitation is. No, 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 no. Stupid ass Draugr. Come on, Wrathman. Is he down? Yes! Mwah. Kiss me. 500 gold, chest key. I lucked out. I really, really lucked out. We got a fairly manageable dungeon. More importantly, a dungeon that I knew the layout of. Hilgren's Tomb. Cleared. Zero deaths. Amazing. One dungeon down and I didn't die. I would have preferred to have had a more creative solution rather than getting carried through the dungeon by Grandpa Bony Boy, but that's besides the point. I am a winner. I started the challenge with one reroll of my choice, but now I've got two in case of emergency. It's a good thing I developed a mechanic for this challenge to incentivize clearing a dungeon without dying, increasing the stakes and reward for each potential challenge. Surely I'll take advantage of this throughout the rest of the playthrough. Oh my gosh, we are lucking out. We're two for two. Swindler's Den is right by Whiterun. It's not very big. If we get destruction, then it might be rigged. Give me destruction! Go! Yes! <laughs> destruction doesn't exactly get me that out of the box thinking that I'm aiming for, but the spells are fun, experimental, and have a pretty good variety of things like timing, effects, and balance. They're a tad all over the place, but I'm never gonna complain about having the power of war crimes in my hands. New favorite spell. I feel bad, but should I use it on the goat? Poor guy. Honestly, I'm doing. Who are you? Get away from me. Thank goodness. I've been wandering alone for so long, I thought I'd never see another soul again. Thank you. It may seem overpowered, but it's important to remember the only option I have for healing is potions unless I roll for restoration, so there's still a good bit of challenge and adaptation involved even with the most powerful spells. Do you know who- do you know what I am capable of right now in this moment? Uh, that's right, Swindler's Den does have quite a few people. Why would you wear the bag on your head? That provides you no advantage. Zero. No tactical advantage. Let's see what you look like. He's ugly. He's ugly. Oh my god, they all do it. <laughs> hey, this place is haunted. Oh, this is way too easy. Chat, we have a problem. I've trivialized my challenge in the first hour. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy because this was too easy. Oh, man. Really? That's gonna be a one hit. Again. They're too afraid to push me in the hallway, which is what I need them to do. They're just sitting back there. That arrow, okay, so no arrow notched in the back. Okay, they put the arrows down, now's our chance.
All right, Bandit Chief, come on down. Ah! Where did you learn to do that? I want to, ow, I want to speak to your man. Ow, that arrow, that's a nice shot. You hit me in the shoulder. Cleared. Two down. You afraid of me? Oh shit. Uh, okay, uh, let's try this. That was awesome. <laughs> that was much cooler than I thought. That's so much harder. I actually have to be precise with these ones and oh my god. I'm running. Guys, I suck now. I suck now. Resisted freeze? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, can he resist carpet? You. Stop working and help me. Somebody help. I was the one asking for help. <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble for this. I will do what I must to protect my village. Run, kids! <laughs> Sorry. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. You know how much skill it takes to carpet bomb a village and avoid casualties? That was a surgical strike. We can do, we can do this. We can time this perfectly. I missed, I missed, I missed. Oh God. Really? Ow! <laughs> Please. I'm sorry, Mr. Kitty Cat. Forgive me. Oh my lord. Should slow him down a bit. I, if I get killed by a wolf, I'm never playing this game again. Never playing this game again. I think this is it. Red Eagle Redoubt. All right, we got it. We're gonna have to be smart here. They've got archers up the way. That's bad. Nice. Really great. I think I can dodge the arrows. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Nice, one down. Hey. Why? Oh, he... coming. Dodged because I'm crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I absolutely cooked. Here we go. They're pushing. Do I have enough time to set this off? Maybe if we use frostbite to slow them down. No, down to an eight. Thanks, that easy. Come on. Yes. You lost all your money at the poker table? Well, that's okay. If you brought your pocket knife... Cleared! Wait a minute. They're two separate dungeons. So conjuration is blech, destruction is fun, the lack of healing is tough, but even if I die, I can just brute force it. Neither one quite scratched that itch for me yet. That how the hell am I gonna get out of this one itch? It's like a mosquito bite I've let linger in a windy room. Alteration, however. That's where these get really interesting. But first, contractual obligations. Thank you to Arena Breakout, the extraction looter shooter available on mobile for sponsoring today's video. Wow, look at this, so immersive. Prepare your loadout, drop in, take out some bad guys, grab the loot, and get out with the goods in this immersive extraction shooter. Immerse yourself in ultra-realistic gunplay with dynamic visuals, volumetric cloud tech, and 1200 plus sound effects delivering console quality realism on mobile. Season three is about to start up, and with the new season comes new content. The new map, TV Station, holds the game's most powerful secrets within its vault. 
danger is around every tight corner, so load up and get ready because playing a stealth archer may not be applicable here. Protecting the vault on this new map are the game's three new bosses, Kurt, Rolf, and Bernard, an intimidating bunch that will stop at nothing to prevent you from finding their classified secrets. Season 3 also comes with some new weapons, including the Groza, FAMAS, AUG, and Suomi submachine guns, all the classics you know and love. Choose a faction and breach the vault before the other players get there first. Getting spotted is easier on the new map, so take precaution, please. Be careful. I care about your safety. Stake your claim on the map and emerge victorious, securing all your valuable loot. The true path to victory lies not just in eliminating your opponents, but in plotting your extraction. Because it's an extraction shooter, so break out. Jump in on the action, including the new Season 3 update and content today by using my download link below if you're interested. Join millions of other players in the highest quality extraction looter shooter available on mobile today. Thank you again to Arena Breakout for sponsoring today's video. You probably noticed in the previous runs up until this point I focused on one, maybe two spells. That's not to say most were useless, just that their counterparts were far better. If you thought spells like Revenant and Freeze had little utility, wait until you meet Okay, like, yeah, like, this is fucking detonate lock. Stupid. I know better than to leave stupid all alone. If I'm not careful, he'll make a YouTube channel covering Skyrim. Let's give him some company. Fabricate object. Bridge. Eh, wait, I don't want to be too harsh on this one because it has some very niche utility specific exactly to this run. This could be a good one. This could be a good one. Strength of Earth. That could be good. Or, hear me out. What if it's also ass? Okay, Strength of Earth. Concentrate to deal 40% more attack damage with your other hand. Release after attacking to stagger nearby foes. Whew. We got the stumble. Another punch. I think this was the only time I got this one to work. I may not sound too excited, but this is what I was waiting for. Awkward utility with little to no use. How the hell am I gonna apply this? How the hell am I gonna clear this dungeon? I think we can complete this dungeon. We've beaten this dungeon really handicapped before. I know exactly how to clear this room. We're gonna be able to do it. I'm not wasting a reroll. We're gonna get through this with just alteration. Okay. No, 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 go down again. Push down again. Come on. Oh, you get him. Nice. Two down. Fall back a little bit. Let's see if we can break the encounter. Who are you? <laughs> Just boxing skeletons. I'm going to pop my head outside. Hopefully the bear's not right out the door. Save a healing potion. Bed on the ground. Sleep for an hour. We got our health back. Okay, it's a drunker white on the upstairs. That means he's got a ton of health. He also has ice spike. That's a big problem. Need to somehow get him off that top ledge. Bed goes down, alteration up again. Damn it up. He's down. He's down. Push through. Don't be shy. Stop it. Push. Push. Boom. Another big hit. Boom. Another big hit. <laughs> Suck it! That is so satisfying. It just feels so good to just. I'm not losing. I am mean, losing. I go out on my own terms, not on yours. I go out how I say I go out, not how you. Okay, there. Oh, piss off. Did I loot this? I did. God, I've been in this dungeon for so long, I'm losing track of her. There are three hallways, and I'm getting lost. Oh, no way. It's only a scourge. Oh, that arrow is. Oh, shoot, we gotta move the body. Come on, come on, get off. Get off the trap, hurry. Mm, get off. You stupid son of a... Why are you so heavy? He's coming. He's off. <laughs> that was the most stressful lifting I've ever done. Big hit. Dead. All right. Anticlimactic is all hell, but he's dead. 
Now, the boss battle. I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-roll. I have two re-rolls. I'm gonna use one. No. Entomb! 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 Yes! 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 That is absolutely massive! Woo! I love gambling! Buries a target permanently or freeze a buried target. Only one victim may be buried at a time. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. If I'm able to attack an enemy while entombed, that's broken. <laughs> Later! Oh no. How am I gonna take him out? Can I entomb a ghost? He's certainly gonna have help. I have an idea though. I don't know if you all noticed this. When I entombed the Draugr, they were in this animation where they were frozen for a little bit as they went underground. We got life. Oh, I missed you, Mr. Trap. That's not gonna kill me, right? Do you believe in magic? I'm just gonna kidnap them. This is amazing. I've never, what a strategy. Now I could still blow this. Don't get too confident now. Oh, it's a scourge. There's two. Why are there two in here? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. The trap's not gonna go. There's a dead body on the trap switch. Oh man. <clears throat> oh no. If I can capture him, we have a chance. No way, I actually can? Okay, we have the dungeon boss captured. <laughs> Come on, stay in that last room, don't teleport. No, nah, keep it solo, you cowards. Nice try, bitch. All right, the scourge stopped following. Whew, I'm freed up a little bit. I'm gonna try and entomb him again and just revive him on top of the trap. It missed? God damn it, it missed. Have I ever told you all I hate this game? It missed. Oh, no. No damage? No? I'm actually really sad. I only get one more reroll. I'm definitely not rerolling the dungeon because we're already at the end of this one. And rise, you're brilliant. You're brilliant. Why didn't I think of that? Chat, that's the solution. <laughs> that's it. I've been wasting time. I've been overthinking this. The solution is simple. You fucking. OK, the solution is not as simple as I thought. I know exactly who we're bringing back to him. Something more powerful than any being in all of Skyrim and conveniently close by. Mr. Bear, don't jump scare me, Mr. Bear. We could make a very valuable team. <laughs> this is so dumb, but it might work. Skyrim Bear, I choose you. <laughs> Go get him, Mr. Bear. I'll distract them. Okay, the... Oh crap, the bear died. All right, all right, the bear wasn't good enough. I need more firepower. Bring a Yarl. <laughs> oh man, I, honestly, it's such a tough choice. Do I bring Yarl Bulgriff or do I bring a giant? Both are compelling, but I'm gonna go with the giant. The giants aren't as big as the mammoths. They're deceptively small. All right, Mr. Giant, I have a mission for you. Don't, no, don't struggle. The more you struggle, the more painful it is. What kind of a poke, how big does your pokeball have to be to hold a giant? Here we go. Greg the Giant, clear this for me, please. I choose you. Get him, Greg. a boy, kick ass. 
Just come on, use your slam. There you go, there you go. Oh my god, he's losing. He's losing. I'm gonna have to get another Greg. He's almost killed Knevel. Come on. Nice. Stomp. Scourge is almost dead. No. They killed him. You bastards killed him. Stupid. Stupid. Useless giant. Dude, he got his... <laughs> he got his ass kicked that time. I got the Scourge. Cabeno's almost down. Cabeno's dead. Okay, Mr. Giant, relax. We're on the same team. Come on, Giant. Let's go. Kick his ass, Giant! Woo! a boy, Mr. Giant. Hey, take it easy. I gave you your own home. You should be thanking me. Although I did take him away from all of his friends. <laughs> all right, the dungeon is technically cleared. That puts us at five dungeons cleared. Just under four hours. Not a bad first day. Could have been better. I know the stats aren't that overwhelming. Let's hope that we can start day two strong and we can have a really... Oh, kill me. I'd say it sucks being let down by something I'm so invested in. However, it's not like I've never been there before. Not Conjuration again, it's boring. Why is Alchemy on there? <laughs> it should not be on there. Day two was a really rough start. I had to use my last remaining reroll to get a new dungeon, got one even more boring. It's really underwhelming just hiding back here and watching her do all the work. One down. Go, go, go. Where's the Ice Wraith? No, it's close. Cancel, cancel. Kill that entity, thing, whatever it is. Just kill it. Thankfully, easy enough for a perfect clear to earn my rollback. Come on, why? It's, it's, it's always the same, it's the same ones. We're getting conjuration and, and destruction. Man, destruction again. Would it kill you to give me some variety here? I did at least take advantage of my bonus spell to have some more fun with tactical airstrikes. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. Take a hike. <laughs> oh, the poor horse. Oh, oh. Oh God, the guard's shooting at me. Do I need to call in an airstrike? Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. We, we need to clean this up. <laughs> I may have roots in Cyrodiil, but Skyrim's is much <laughs> Settle down. You gotta let this happen. You gotta let nature sort out its own... Pr what is hap... Okay, you know what? Let's just... You're all right, girl. It, it is just way too fun. Wait a minute, we were able to dodge him easily last time. Let's get him to burn his magic. You're toast. I mean, it's the, come on, game. Ow! Got him. Hey, another perfect clear. You know, all this success is really doing damage to that joke I made earlier about never using this mechanic. You know what? I'm just happy it's something new. The illusion spells are all over the place. Mayhem, mayhem, mayhem. Bo 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 booyah. <laughs> it costs 826. Come on. Illusory Explosion deals 25% of their current health as temporary damage that wears off after 15 seconds. Fuck, yeah. Ow, fuck. Thought Steal. Equip the spells the target has equipped. Last for 120 seconds or until unequipped. I like that. I haven't used Illusion yet, so I'm going to need a brief training arc in the area near my objective. That way I can have some flexibility in my spellcasting. I'm a bit priced out of the market. One of the unique aspects of this challenge was trying to squeeze out XP with a limited range of abilities. Can I just hit? <laughs> Goat resisted thought steal. Damn it. His mind is too strong for me. I could get a bunch of training done on mud crabs. They don't care. They do, they do, they care, they care. They, they actually really care a lot. I didn't think you don't care that much. Wait, no, no, I can't die. No, if I die here, then uh, I lose my perfect clear. And no, I wanna get three perfect clears in a row. Stupid fish. Where you at? This is how a real Viking fish is. Fuck you, stupid fish. Die. <laughs> Illusion 37. This is almost our highest ranked magical skill already. 37. Conjuration's only at 36. Oh, fuck. So 
stop it. Relax, go find some porridge or something. Do something that bears do. I don't like it. Does the, can the bear swim? <laughs> Wait, I think he's getting attacked. Mr. Mr. Bear? Well, now I kind of feel bad for him. Is the bear still underwater? Take a quick dunk. Yeah, he's underwater. He is 100% still underwater. These were also the moments where I'd manage inventory, survival stuff, and economy, because with 2,500 gold, I can buy a reroll. Or potions, because healing is still in short supply. Eventually, I had my illusion trained up, perked up, and ready to go so I could finally use my full loadout. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to survive long enough to get mayhem off. That quickly. They see me that quickly. Okay, if that one won't use arrows, they'll only use melee. I need to avoid the arrows and somehow push him while having time to cast. Up, 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 jump. For fuck's sake, jump. Okay, they're both down on ground. He's gonna push around this way, we have some time. Now we move. We gotta bring him back to the archer so they start fighting each other. Ow, are there two? I don't know. It looks like they're both frenzied. Why aren't you fighting each other? No! Come on, fight each other! Yes! Yes! Come on! <laughs> Kill each other! I'll take advantage, just in case it wears off. Throw it on him again. Keep it up, keep it up. There's doubts all around me. It looks like I frenzied even some of the wolves that are nearby. I cannot believe that the archer won. Oh my god, the archer won. Why? Why? I'm gonna try and at least just take the camp from him. Oh shit. All right, one hit from death. Let's just see what kind of range this has. Uh, Mr. Goat. No! Mr. Goat, Mr. Goat, no, 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 don't do this, don't do this. Oh God, oh my, oh my God. I'm gonna die. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Goat, I didn't want to. Still, he's still frenzied. I saw one dot disappear, but it could just be that I lost aggro. Yeah, one dead. I wonder if I cast it again here. I, I, I doubt I have any leeway to go hide. Let's just see. Ah, he's on me. Dang it. One of those two just went down, but he's gonna follow me outside. Oh yeah, she's still out here. My favorite. <gasps> oh, that was hitting me. That was gonna hit me. Oh yes, I can. She doesn't have her arrow out. It's go time. She snipes me from this distance. She snipes me. I have never ever watched myself die in slow motion like that before. Nice try. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a chance here. No, no, no. Come on. I'm not just a mage, I'm a boxer, okay? I'm a certified assassin! That's a second dead body right there. Sir, a second dead forsworn has hit the campground. That is not a dead body, those are <laughs> sacks of grain. He's a mage. We're gonna go thought steal, see if it works. Just missed, out of magic. Arrow on the other side of the room. Got him. We got his ability. Not a lot of damage at all. He might be... Oh, we gotta move. Ah, walked right into it. Not a lot of damage though. Resist fire saved us. Hit the bucket. Nice try. He's really close. Nah, he's healing now.
who's your daddy? That was a really fun battle. Loved the mechanics of the spell to just steal stuff from him. And there it is. Cleared. Let's spin that fucking wheel. I got so sick of conjuration. It really was a buzzkill every time, but at least conjuration rounds let us make our own fun. All right, I'm going to break my rules here, but nobody is going to complain. Where are my arms? Where are my arms? What? What? Where'd they go? <laughs> That's not what I had in mind. That's not what I had in mind. Why me? Why me? Yo, kill him. Yeah. Ow. Hey, kid. I don't want to talk. Why? Because I don't have arms? Dude, imagine going to the potion store like that, though. Be like, yo, let me get, uh... Um... The... Well, it's red. Someone in chat earlier was like, didn't you say no alchemy? I think eating ingredients counts as alchemy. Get him, Greg. That a boy, kick ass. Greg? That's him. That's Greg. He's speaking to us. He said, I love you in giant. Anyway, this one stunk, so. Leak falls? Yeah, okay. We can probably come back here and call yourself a wizard. I challenge you to a duel. Oh. <laughs> Fuck out of my marketplace. You think you could take me on 1v1? Let's reset, bring him back up here. Oh. What happened? What happened is he challenged me and he got his ass kicked. Ooh, crap. Getting into Bleak Falls is going to be tough. We could use these guys for practice. It's gonna risk a perfect run. There we go. Okay, now we grab him. Uh, we need to get him. <laughs> we need to get him to the edge of the cliff. Hurry. Launch. Launch him. Throw him. Yeah! <laughs> Amazing. Target down. I think I need to take them on from here. Really prevent the archers from having a line of sight on me. Isolate the two handed melee. Run, run, run. Later. See ya. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, how's your six pack holding up now? Once a day, generate gold equal to four times your alteration <laughs> skill level. That's kind of fun. You know what? I'm going to take it. Philosopher's Stone. My character's name is Harry Potor. I have to take Philosopher's Stone. I want to say that the spider will be kind of easy. We just have to bring him back over here. Uh, too close. I don't like being that. Where are you? Did I do that? I think I'm more powerful than I. Th I think I might be more powerful than I thought. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with this spell? Marvel, are you okay? Hand over the golden claw. Oh my god. That'll show you. Not at all what I had in mind. Ow. Damn, that's a lot of damage for one hit. Okay, I'm gonna have to reload my save. This does not work properly. <laughs> it just sends them to the other side of the room. Okay, it works differently in first person. So we'll try it in third person. Oh. Okay, that works fine by me. Please tell me that. <laughs> Overpowered. See, I told you, I don't need healing potions. I only need ingenuity. Now give me the dragon stone. Give me the stupid sword. Get me out of this dungeon. I'm tired of it. This was the day. 
Day three it was the exact culmination of everything I was hoping this challenge would be. It had its moments early on, some fun strategies, close calls, and problem solving. I spent a lot of the back half of 2023 trying to figure out why I like doing challenges like this. The answer ended up being pretty simple. Surprise! I like when we're caught off guard, I like when things are chaotic and unpredictable, I like finding new ways to beat the sandbox of Skyrim. When I go into these challenges, I'm not really looking for wins or impressive feats. Now, don't misunderstand me, I like to win, and I can get competitive. I'm not looking for wins or impressive feats, I'm looking for day threes. Frenzy, obviously, everyone knows what Frenzy is. I can't believe it's up to level 20. Ooh. The stone manifests illusions of nearby dead for 60 seconds. Illusions take extra damage from attacks. If I know this dungeon well, they're gonna release the hounds out the front door. So let's get a Frenzy on one of them right away. Oh shit, okay, they're already throwing arrows. Okay, they're attacking each other, good. Let's see what the hell Sidestone does. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey. Uh, do I stand near the stone? Protect me, rock! That was close. Ow! Okay, they're fighting each other. Am I supposed to stand inside of it? Hold on, I have to read the description again. I have no clue what I'm supposed to do. Oh, people have to die. Got it. Okay, well, now he's dead. All right. Oh, maybe I have to cast the stone on a dead body. Ah, there it is. He has a ton of health, and the damage is going to be pretty good. Okay, there it is. Now the stone starts attacking. That's good. Dodge. Okay, exactly what we needed. No. How? You weren't even looking at me. I'm going to get hit here again. Okay, the side stone illusions aren't doing anything. It's like they disappear <laughs> as soon as they take two steps. It's giving me a shitload of illusion XP though. I don't know why. Like, whoa, look at that. I'm at 62. Wait. Okay, I cannot die. 63. Wait, hold on. This is broken. I should have held out there and just kept collecting XP. Let's just head inside. Ooh, that's bad. I could get one tapped here. Ooh. I'm hit. Ooh, good. Okay, we got that wolf up. There you go, Wolfie. I gotta be careful here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get someone else in on the fight. At least we softened him up a little bit. There we go. That's bad. Oh, I stepped on the trap. How am I not dead? Get down the hole. Jesus, there's so many of them in here. No, bad, 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 very bad. Oh, oh, dead end, this is really bad. Hold out. Okay, they're fighting each other. Someone's gotta die here. And when they do, we throw up the side stone. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, let's not cast that right on top of the trap. It looks like there's only two left. How the hell am I alive? She dead? No fucking way we're in the clear. Really? Wow! That was amazing! Ooh, that's a great idea. I want to see what happens if we stack all the dead bodies and we throw the side stone on it. I wonder if it creates illusions of every dead body. <gasps> oh. Now hold on. What if I move? Whoa! That's cool! Alright, that's really cool. Let's get them to follow us. And then let's try to lead them into a giant side stone trap. There. Let's just see how this works, right? It's just one enemy. What's he gonna- oh, there's three. Ooh. I only have half health, we gotta be careful. Bring him back here into Lay Dungeon of Pain. Oh man. Yeah, we need a bit more red paint for our, uh, our new arena aesthetic. Ooh, okay, there's three of them. One's got an arrow. We got to move. Ah, uh, that's not good. You can't turn and burn too early. If you turn and burn at a, you know, hundred, zero, zero. Oh, 
Get in here. There we go. This is awesome. I'm out of healing. Still one. Oh. <laughs> okay, well now I'm gonna take my time to prepare thoroughly. I will create an army of shadows. Oh yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the bone zone. All right, Bandit Outlaw Warrior, you are next up on the show. Come on down, follow me down this hallway. Welcome to the Cage of Death. Woo, hey, watch where you're swinging. I'm the host of this show now. Go forth, my minions. Fight for me. I don't even have to do nothing. I don't have to do nothing. Ran beaks fast. I think that that's another decent one. Now I'm gonna start getting tired of illusion. Although, okay, the illusion ones are fun and our illusion level is incredibly high. So we have that going for us. Invisibility, come on, yes! <laughs> All right, invisibility, that could be fun to play with. Backlash, interrupts target spellcaster. If a spell is interrupted, the target is hit by their own offensive spell while non-offensive spells are cast on you. Hold on, that's really good. If we pull a dragon priest at the end of this dungeon, that's really, really good. Okay, hopefully this isn't too bad. Ooh, a healing potion, we gotta get that. Patience. I am staying back. Oh God, he went the other way. Wrong button. No, 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 no. Jump, jump. Away. <laughs> okay, we made our way through the first guard checkpoint. This is, I guess, more effective than I thought it would have been. So long as I'm invisible while sneaking and I have stamina, we should be okay. Is that the final boss? That character looks final bossy. Yes, you've fallen for my trap. How the hell does he even see me? I'm invisible. I'm still invisible. He doesn't see me. Don't worry. It'll be relatively Someone there? <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. I gotta get his potions. No, why do I keep doing this? Stay invisible. It's probably worthwhile for me to at least attempt to fight him with Reflect and Backlash, just so that we can see how it works out. Oh my god, it worked! Did it hurt him? It does, it works! Die! It works every time! This is incredible. Oh, you oh, now you want to go melee? Fine, fine by me. Ah, Religious Zealots. Perfect cannon fodder for testing my new abilities. You can't hide from me. Oh, they're not real, they're not real! Ah! <laughs> Don't care. It's not wise to discuss it here. Oh, this is where she invites me back to her house. You are not that young. Why did they make her hot? Oh, ow! You poor thing, who did this to you? <laughs> who designed this? Now let's just kick ass here really quickly and move on with our day. Should be nice and easy. I'm dead, I'm dead. Ooh, I like that. Stay right there, don't move. Oh my God, I missed. Okay, yeah, we gotta hit this one. Uh, uh, you've got to be kidding me. Why does it always go past him? I'm going to have to resort to Ice Spike. Oh, I hate this. Oh, they always have to be so slow, don't they? Okay, we're back to Ice Spike. All reliable. Please back away. Fuck magic. Are we clear? We're clear. Have we done harm stall? Or is it just discovered on my map? Yeah, Harmic Stall is like right next door. Alteration, not bad. We haven't had alteration in a little bit, but still. Oh no, <laughs> no, that's okay. Can <laughs> control weather? That's gonna come in handy. Iron Flush. Iron Flush. Iron Flush is huge. 
Oh no. Oh God. Oh, it <laughs> could not be worse. Candlelight and change weather. All right, candlelight could be clutch though. What if it's really dark in this cave? I didn't mention it earlier. Too many fucked up rules already, but throughout this run, I used the perk overhaul ordinator. It's awesome. Try it, you've probably already used it. Within the light armor skill of Ordinator is a hand-to-hand -hand buff, but only if you have both hands free. Given how limited this loadout is with a whopping zero potential damage output, this led to a fun little on-the-spot reclass of our character. Protection spells like Stone Flesh are 100% stronger if not wearing armor. What's my current armor rating right now? Oh, which is gonna be my, that's gonna be my punching. Let's see, with backpack and necklace. It's still 160. It's still 160. Okay, so we can wear backpack. Let's throw on the robes of illusion. Actually, wait, I'm not casting illusion robes. So let's wear the hooded black mage robes because the hooded mage robes are going to give us 75 regen. So I'm trying to think if, if we go with this, we go iron flesh. We cast iron flesh. We immediately free up both hands and we can start boxing. I have limited D&D experience. Still have yet to finish act three of Baldur's Gate. Is this a monk build? Kind of? Maybe. Just a little bit? Why are you attacking the chicken? What the fuck did the chicken ever do to you? You wanna kill a chicken? You wanna kill a chicken in my camp? Bring it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve it. She's gonna power attack. We can sidestep. Right, you can't. I think this might be one of the more fun builds we've had. Iron Flesh into Naked Fist. We have arrived at Harmigstall. There's an interesting way to go about this puzzle. Okay, if you're not sure, it's actually quite a simple solution. You, you hit that one, okay? Make sure you're following, and then you hit this one. Okay, you see how they changed? And then you hit this one. Then you hit this one. Now you go back to this one, the, this one, and then you want to hit this one. Yeah, see, you just follow those steps exactly as I did, and you will find yourself completing the puzzle. It's really not difficult. Ah, shoot. Okay. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, no way. Oh, oh yes way. Whoa. I have a weird feeling we can get out of this. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know why I was so confident about that one. Okay, I need a trap. I need a trap. Uh, maybe collision on this thing can hurt them. Hey, walk into that. Don't be behind me. Please, don't, stop. Punch the thing. Go. Nice. Okay, there's a bandit in here. This might be the dungeon boss. We kill him, we might be able to mark it cleared. 
I'm just gonna push it. Come on, let's go. Uh, what ability does he have? It sounds like he just used Conjuration and he threw up a shield for himself. Oh, is he throwing shock? His damage isn't that great. We might be able to outlast him. You can't touch me. That's right, Precision nerfs your dagger, it's useless. Take cover. I just want to have a better view of you when I kick your shit in. There we go, now we can murder- Let's go. Not blowing it this time. Buff. All right, we got to talk about this. We got to talk about this uh, because this is now officially a problem. There we go. We got him where we want him. Come on, go down. And your spiders suck too. Oh my God, and it's worse. It's worse. It's worse. Why? I'm gonna go buy a respin. I'm not doing conjuration. Bore me to death. No way. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> oh no, wait a minute. If we're going to Bleakwind Basin, that means we're gonna have to kill Greg. We're gonna have to kill the first friend that we used to help us clear a dungeon. There's two? Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that's so scary. Why is this, why is this saber cat attacking my skeleton? Jesus Christ. Can't hit me if I walk backwards. Nope, turn around. Ah, I knew it, I knew it. That's the turnaround attack. Oh, I got this. Okay. How am I alive? How? Turn around. Oh, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Somehow magical. Go, 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 go. Nice try. You were so close. We almost got him. Back to my little safe zone. Their AI brains are all confused. I know what we're gonna do. Here's the, here's the play. If I cast one skeleton directly in front of me, it's gonna spawn behind me. This one with more health is gonna follow it. It's gonna take us away from this guy. That opens up a window for us to pull him away from the other giant. and create a predictable hitbox for us. Same exact thing, he's gonna follow it. We bring this giant out just a couple of steps and then pull our skeleton out. Two hits, now we gotta return back and it's gonna catch him right in that corner again. And now they're both in the exact position we want them to be in. This is absolutely beautiful. Mwah, mwah. Oh, these are the little nuggets of knowledge I love to find out. Hold, now go. Now bring this asshole over here. Two hits, run back. He's down. Why are you banging on your shield? Go attack him! Oh, you useless. Oh my lord, we did it. Yes, it counts as cleared. We don't have to take out the uh, woolly mammoth. Don't, 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 don't. You dare do conjuration again. <sighs> Please ignore my sigh of disappointment because this spin ended up giving me the most egregiously overpowered combo I think I have ever used in this game. Two spells known as Hidden Cobra and Harmony. 
Hidden Cobra curses a target for 104 seconds. The curse reduces health to one if the target leaves combat for five seconds. So if I use Hidden Cobra on an enemy and I break the encounter with them, it sets their health to one. They are broken in multiple ways. Wait a minute. Two levels? Three? God damn! What? what? Oh my god, did I just solve diplomatic relations in the entire town? 79, it keeps going! 81? It, it, what? That was 13 incredibly high levels in one cast. That's a fuckload of XP. That's just stupid. You know what, Uthgird? You're gonna be my hidden cobra practice. Don't wanna miss. Okay, so now she's cursed for like a minute. Now, since we have that on her, come on, I just need a few more seconds. Now she's no longer attacking us because of the curse. This should bring her health down to one. <laughs> That's a pretty cool combo. We're here. We can probably give ourselves an advantage if we just start with harmony. That way, everyone in the galaxy is our friend. I want to see what mind vision does. What does the Forsworn see? Let me into your mind. Oh. What's happening? What? What's happening? Wait, this is me. This is my chest. We go like this. We curse this one. He goes hostile. Separate from him. Cast harmony again. He calms down a little bit. Curse an axe. And he goes down like that. I haven't had this much fun playing Skyrim in a really long time. Ow! Get moving, Buster. Back it up. Wrong way, back it up that way. Uh-uh, no. Just a disgusting left hook off the ledge. Throughout this entire journey, I begged and pleaded the wheel to give me restoration. I asked very nicely, and it told me no repeatedly. This is rude on the wheel's part. They're the bad guy here, not me. Under the frustration of once again not getting restoration, I re-rolled. I'm, I'm buying a re-roll. And then even when I couldn't afford it, I'm buying another damn re-roll! I re-rolled again. I put myself into wheel debt just to experience the thrill of a perfectly valid school of magic. I wish I hadn't. Restoration sucks. Raider Ward increases armor rating by 88 points. No, it sucks. Weakens an enemy, reducing all skills by 16 points for 120 seconds. That's not as good as I thought at all. Places a seal upon the caster for 15 seconds, losing 50% of your current health. Ooh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh damn, we're in trouble. Restoration, I award you zero points. Your strongest ability is the magical equivalent of asking nicely. Oh, please don't hurt me. Anyone here like Lifetime Originals? Silver hand. Oh, whoa, what's up with the vomit? Hey, let's take up the archer first if we can. Want to avoid that vomit as much as we can. There we go. Okay, one down. Uh-oh, nope, <laughs> I cannot defeat the vomit. No way! No! Block! No! 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 No way! I'm going in. It's gotta be healing potions or something I can find in here. Easy. Oh, how did that miss? Nice shot. We need to find a trap somewhere. There's a trap right there if they want to keep following me. But right now, I'm just going to keep sprinting. <laughs> I'm running. Still kicking. You can't stop me. 
Oh man. Missed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take me to the entrance. Go, <laughs> go. Woo! I made it all the way to the end of the dungeon. Is it cleared? No, of course not. Time out. We just have to kill the bandit chief to clear. I don't know what this trap here does. Let's find out. Oh, that's what it does. Fuck, man. How do I miss it? How? <laughs> All right, you stay back there. What does this do? I don't know what that did, but we killed him. <laughs> it's stuck. Stop it. Stop it. Somehow he protected me and I let him get the power attack off. I hate this game His sword is stuck in the way All right Nice and easy three down and we gotta make sure that that traps ready to go. We're gonna win we are going to beat them. Come on, bitches. May I introduce you to another new game show. Not as popular as the Dome of Death from before, but this one, just as effective. Audiences around the nation are losing themselves. Four down. Oop. Hi, how are you? Five down. Six down. The next one's an archer and she's pretty souped up. Seven down. Eight down. Okay, there's the boss. Right here, dickwad. Come on, ass munch. Yep, he's right behind us. Go, 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 go. Woo, close call. Yeah, almost, almost. Oh, okay, looks like this one needs two. Just stay right there. Wave to the camera, say hi, YouTube. Overall, this adventure has been a lot of different things. We've gambled, we've cast, and we've boxed our way to stacking a fairly impressive body count. Despite how I may have sounded at times, I absolutely loved this challenge. And as my time winded, inching closer to the 15 hour time limit, there weren't as many high points as there were on the other days for me. Oh, I did get to punch out the pale lady. That was fun. Can't forget Thrumbo, my thrumming stone of thrumming. What is thrumming? Save me Thrumbo. Cocks blocked by Thrumbo once again. No, that's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. Also, I got to run through a maze. That was kind of fun, but my time was cut short as I frantically searched for an exit. Consistently, it, where's my arm? <laughs> Sorry, wrong clip. I just thought the arm thing was funny again. What's that noise? Don't make me, do, do not make me give you, hit you with like the cute little zap. Oh, <laughs> it's so pathetic. My uncle got hit with these one time at a Walmart. That's still not the maze. We've gone way off track here. Time running out like this though, it just didn't feel like a good send off for the journey. I'd used a bunch of spells throughout my time, some that I hated, some that I loved, some that I didn't even touch because they were just <laughs> completely useless. I felt a good way to wrap all of this up was to think through all the mage knowledge I've acquired over the last 15 hours and narrow down to a loadout of the five best spells that I can think of to get me through one of the tougher dungeons in Skyrim, Forlhost. For my destruction spell, Scorching Hands has to make the list. Fairly affordable, unbelievably powerful. Alteration? I think this is an obvious choice. I, th I think it's the clear choice. It's the easy choice. I know we're gonna be indoors, 
but I don't think the control weather really had a time to shine. I never got to cast control weather. I never got to get rid of the rain when it was raining. And just on the off chance that in the middle of this journey, I run into an annoying fucking rainstorm, I would like to get rid of it. Congratulations, control weather. Come on down and claim your reward. <laughs> I couldn't even get all the words out, but that's not all. From the alteration tree, my third spell I will be bringing with that has made the MVP list deservedly so, Entomb. Welcome, Entomb, to the master spell list. <laughs> Backlash is super cool too. Backlash is ridiculously cheap. It only had one moment to shine. Oh my God, it worked. Did it hurt him? It does, it works. And based on the dungeon we're going into, I want to say that there's a dragon priest at the end that we're going to have to fight, we're going to have to kill, and I think Backlash deserves to be in the top five. For an apprentice spell that has near unlimited casting potential, that could win the last fight. All right, Wrathman, welcome back. That's it. That's all you've got. You going to take that? You there. As an officer of the Imperial Legion. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a cakewalk, isn't it? <laughs> Why? All right, okay, all right, reset, reset. Ow, 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 I'm stuck. Control weather, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know why I went with control weather. I could at least help out my friends at the bottom of the mountain. I will give everyone in Riften. Can't summon weather, fuck you. I wanna get a little cheeky here. Let me just have a little bit of confidence for once, chat. Be easier if you weren't making as much noise as a grandma's fucking rocking chair. Relax. See, you blew my cover and you died and you let me get shot immediately, all in one go. Come on, let's dance. Yeah, you thought I lost it. Yeah, you thought I lost hands, didn't you? Hulking draw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hold on. I was not ready for variance. It's not working. Why is it? What? Work? It's not working. This is a problem. Why? What, what happened? My powers have been invalidated. I feel like, uh, the, you know, whenever Spider-Man goes through that arc in each of the Spider-Man movies where he loses his powers or his web shooters are broken or, I don't know, Mary Jane isn't hooking up with him. That's all right. Spider-Man's always good at punching things, though. Tier two, tier three, Draugr? Oh, 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 where was that? What was that? Huh? Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Redman, get in there. Sacrifice yourself. I love you, Redman. I, I can't. Oh, shoot. You see him in back? Look at that dumbass. He stepped on the rising elevator trap. Okay, one down. Fuck magic. I got your back, Wrath Man. Bring it on. No nope, power attack. Dodge it. Now we push. I'm getting sloppy. I'm getting sloppy. Okay, I only have one more life. I'm gonna do my best for the believers. It's a bit late in the game to introduce the concept of Twitch gambling, so I'll be quick. Twitch chat loves to gamble with very real currency with perfectly normal exchange rates. I'm a little competitive, so when my cowardly haters start betting their children's college fund on my downfall, it's my job to ensure that little Johnny has a wonderful time at trade school. That was sick. Push him back into the trap. Yeah, Rathman, that's what I'm talking about, buddy. Lay off Rathman, douche. <gasps> oh! Rathman, never do that again. Base Draugr on the far side with arrows and then one with magic.
How did we trigger the... Oh, this is not good. Okay, so there's... Yikes. Other side of us, we have a soul gem trap. It looks like it's firing pretty constantly. So I probably need to push into the room to my right without knowing what's in there. I got this, though. We'll be all right. Push him off, Wrathman. Hell yeah, push him off. Oh! Oh! Close shave, goddamn. Okay, we kind of compromised ourselves a little bit there. I'm gonna take a hit here. I'm gonna have to eat it. Ah, get out of the corner. Oh shit. Oh shit. How am I alive? No. Ah, I'm not gonna lie, Chad, I'm freaking out. I really wanna get through this clean. Wow, one, two, one. Interesting number combo. That's not very common. Well, we can't exactly bring Greg on our journey with us. One of his three siblings can join us on this adventure. Snuffleupagus! I choose you! Oh my god, the game almost broke! No, no! Snuffleupagus, you got this! Let's try and save him! Get back in the Pokeball! You know, it's funny, in all my hours of playing this game for content, I've never done this dungeon. So it's been a really long time. A lot of times in the fights, I know exactly what to expect. It's kind of terrifying not knowing. It worked. We can reflect on him. I need a few more seconds free, though, because we need... Snuffleupagus on the battlefield! No, he's gonna die immediately! Snuffleupagus, no! <laughs> Sacrifice yourself for the greater good. I got an idea, though. I need to cast Entomb again. He's aiming at me. I missed. I can't entomb him. Oh no. Oh god, I'm out of magic. I need to get my magic back as fast as possible. We can probably loop them all into this tunnel. The further back we fall, though, the harder it's gonna be for him to get hits on us. All right, three down. One more, he's gonna be able to handle that one. We got him. Oh, huge. Oh my god, huge right in the middle of the fight. Gotta get behind. Come on. Kill that fucker. Come on, Wrathman. Do all the work for me, Wrathman. I'm too afraid. Fuck you. The poor mammoth. He didn't stand a chance. Oh, no. Nah. See, now he's just getting thrown or... Oh, God. <laughs> we can't really give him a proper burial. I mean, isn't this a badass enough tomb? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, uh, it's only getting worse. <laughs> Throwing him down the stairs.